what are some of the best ways to store and protect vinyl records. Today, I'm sharing tips I've learned in more than 25 years of collecting records, all of the records behind me. And I'm gonna get brutally honest and share some of my biggest pitfalls when it comes to these as well. So stick around for that. To start out, let's talk about storage. And for that, we come to the shelf. Behind me, I have a five by five Ikea shelf. It's called the Calyx, and it is the perfect shelf for storing records. This is something I absolutely love about these Ikea shelves. They are easy, they're indestructible, mostly, and I'll get to that in a second. And they come in such a variety of sizes. You've got your two by two, you've got your three by three, your four by two, your four by four, and right here, your five by five. All of those numbers are cubes. Five cubes long, five cubes high, 25 cubes total. So let's talk a little bit about the best way to maintain your records on the shelf itself. And that is a quick build tip. When you get the Calyx shelf, you know, Ikea, you gotta build it yourself. You've got long middle parts and you have short middle parts. The long middle parts are the horizontal ones. The short ones are vertical. Why is that? If you do it the other way, the vertical being long and the horizontal being short, that means all of that weight is directly on the shelf itself. There's nothing supporting it. Whereas if it's horizontal, it's distributed on the edges where it connects into the outer edges and it's supported at the base along each of the vertical shelf points. That is gonna provide so much more stability for all of the weight that your records have. And it becomes even more important when you have a shelf like mine that is five by five. So there's your build tip. If you do it the other way, there are horror stories of the shelf collapsing in on itself. You don't want that. My next tip is the anchors themselves. This shelf right here, I put up and I anchored to the wall just like it said I should, but I did one thing wrong. With all of that weight, the anchor is pulling out of the wall because I anchored it with one of the plastic drywall anchors. I did not anchor it into a stud. There is your second hot tip. Rather than using the existing holes on each end for anchoring, you're gonna need to create your own and make sure that you anchor it straight into the stud. This thing is pulling off the wall and I am ultimately gonna need to take down all of these records and figure out where those studs are and re-anchor them to the studs. Not gonna be fun but it will help over time. Make sure that my shelf is nice and secure and doesn't pull forward onto me or any unsuspecting person who may be looking through my records. What's the best way to store them? You can kind of see that my shelf is pretty full. First tip, don't ever stack them flat, at least not for any long period of time. If you're gonna stack them flat, make sure it's very brief. Over time, that stacked weight puts pressure that can ultimately warp your records and cause undue damage. You don't wanna do that. Likewise, on the shelf itself, make sure that you store them comfortably, not too tight, not too loose. Too tight, once again, you could have that potential warping. Too loose and a lean on the furthest most record and ultimately, once again, it's gonna put that pressure and has the potential to warp. Next, what temperature should you use? I have it set at a comfortable 74 to 76. Some may say that that's a little bit on the warm side. Personally, here in North Texas, it's kinda of cool. When you get higher than 80, 81, this is Fahrenheit, so if you're outside the United States, run your conversions to Celsius. That heat has the potential to warp, and you don't want warping on your records. So that was more of a macro view, storing lots of records themselves. Well, let's look at the micro view and individual records and what my preferred method is of storing them. I have two examples right here. I have 
this year's model by Elvis Costello, which is one of my most played albums of the year, thanks to an album story that I did. I also have right here a newer album. It's by a guy named Jaco Gardner. It's called Hypnophobia. It's kind of like this psychedelic indie pop. The first thing you'll notice with these two is that I have them in protective outer sleeves. These are three mil sleeves. They come with a little bit higher quality. Two mil tend to be a little iffy around the edges. They split very easily. So you definitely want to make sure you have the three mil. Next is the storage of the record itself. Now, this one came with an inner sleeve, as you can see right here. This is the inner sleeve of this particular U.S. pressing, early U.S. pressing of this year's model. But the record is not in it. I have the record right there in an anti-static inner plastic sleeve that I bought separately. The reason I do that is because some of these paper sleeves can cause additional sleeve scuffs, which... Personally, I'm a little obsessive about it, so I don't like those kinds of things as well. So why do I put the record outside of the sleeve? Good question. And with that, we'll take a look at this Jayco Gardner album, which I purchased new. It came shipped, as you would expect, a brand new record, sealed. But if I take a look at the record sleeve, right along here is a seam split. That came from shipping. So the problem with shipping records inside the sleeve, you have more of a chance of damaging the corners where the record touches the sleeve. That's one thing. On the second is the continual pushing the record in, pulling it out, also provides more wear on those edges as well. So if you're shopping used and you see records with a lot of damage along the edges, well, that's probably why. The other reason obviously being that they don't have it in an outer sleeve. So to look at that one more time on this year's model, you can see up here, this was stored that way for a long time because you've got a little bit of a split along the top right here at the opening. So about the inner sleeves, any inner sleeve is better than none. Ideally, use the anti-static MoFi plastic inner sleeves, but generic paper sleeves that come with brand new records or like this one where it's a printed thicker inner sleeve, they still work great. My personal preference is to have one of the clear plastic ones, but it's not something that I have included on every single album in my collection. There are my tips for storing and protecting your records. What did I miss? Let me know down in the comments. I love collecting records, and there are many reasons why this is one of my preferred hobbies. If you like tips for your vinyl record collection, well, I have a playlist that is all about that. You can check out the next video in the series right up here. I'm Andy, this is the Fence Post Vinyl Channel, I'll see you in the next video.